Hi guys, today we are going to be taking a look at the Brother Hobby R4 Returner Motors. Now I'm going to be a little bit rusty with my review here because I haven't done one in such a long time, mainly because I've been spending the last six months just racing around the country and in fact racing around the world. So forgive me. So I was lucky enough to be sent out some of these Brother Hobby motors. So these are the 2206 2300. And I'll be honest, when I first saw them, I thought they were a little bit gimmicky, what with their green and pinkish purpley colours. But once I'd actually put them on the quad, they actually started to really grow on me and I actually like the colours quite a lot. Now I've had quite a few people say to me, oh they're just colourful ZMX motors, which isn't really true. And I would agree that the bell housing itself does look a little bit like the ZMX, however internally it is completely different. Here is a ZMX X25 and looking at the bottoms you can see that the Brother Hobby actually is recessed more. You've got the bearing further in and has a, a larger washer on board. Both of them use a 1.5mm Allen key to take the bell housing off which is nice for cleaning and maintenance. The magnets used are N52H and you'll notice that both of them are curved magnets but the ZMX are slightly thicker and spaced out differently compared to the Brother Hobby. So as I mentioned it only takes a 1.5mm key just to undo this one single screw here to get in and take the bell housing off. This is really handy, especially for me, especially at this time of year also, with me doing lots of crashing on the grass and filling these motors up full of mud. I can just unscrew this here, pop the bell housing off and give it a good clear out. The inside of that bell housing looks very nice. You can see that all the magnets seem to be firmly in place. Hopefully we won't get any magnets slipping in here. And we can see that the titanium hollow shaft is pressed into the bell housing very tightly, as well as some of that blue adhesive on one side there to help with balancing. Looking at the stator side of things, we're using 0.15 silicone steel, Japanese EZO bearings, and a 7075 aluminium base. Now I've seen a few motors, not these motors, other motors having problems with the stator staying stuck to that base and actually starting to twist and causing desync issues, but uh, that isn't a problem here. Now my plan here was to open up the ZMX and show you the internals against the Brother Hobby but unfortunately despite removing everything I could not open up the bell housing on the ZMX. Weight wise with its full length of cable mine were coming in at 30.5 grams and the ZMX with shorter cables coming in at 30.6. So let's move over to our test bench and see what results we get. The first prop I'm going to use is a 5040 tri-blade from HQ. This is very popular with most of the sponsored pilots. Uh, I personally don't like them because they just break too easy. However, they are very light, spin up very quickly and give good performance. The battery that I'm going to be using for these tests is a 1575C AC 4 cell LiPo. HQ5040 pulled 1,119 grams, 25.8 amps, 401 watts, giving us a 2.79 grams per watt efficiency. The next prop that we're going to use is a Gemfan 5045 tri-blade. So comparing the Gemfam 5045 against the HQ, we got 1179 grams, that's extra 60 grams, 29.77 amps, that's an extra 3.97 amps, 457.8 watts, that's an extra 56.8 watts, and the efficiency went down by 0.22. Now I can see that these motors tend to have a lot of torque, so we're going to stick a 4 blade on there, this being a 5x4x4. by 4x4 four by four, managed to pull 1,171 grams, that's only 8 grams less than the gem fans that we just had on. The amps went down to 28.99, that's almost a whole amp less, 449.9 watts, that's minus 9.9, .9, and an efficiency of 2.60, that's efficiency actually up by 0 0.3. This time round we're going to try one of the new hype props, which is the Racecraft 5051. The 
Racecraft 5050 ones pulled 1080 grams, that's minus 91 grams over the quad blade, 28.99 amps, which is exactly the same amount of amps, 441.5 watts, that's actually minus 8.5 watts, and 2.4 grams per watt, that's actually a lower efficiency of 0.16 over the quad blades. The final prop that I'm going to use on here is a Kong 5x4.5. I really like these because they are durable and they are extremely cheap as well as well balanced. So the Kong 5045 tri-blade pulled 1,189 grams. That's actually plus 109 grams over the last test. 27.02 amps, so that's minus 1.97 amps, which is really good. 419.3 watts, which is minus 22.2 watts, and a grams per watt efficiency of 2.83. Now, I've said this in the past, and I'll say it again. Thrust figures aren't the be-all and end-all. You really need to get out with these motors and fly them to actually experience them and see if they're any good. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. I fitted it to my X-Hover R5LX, and I've got to say that these motors really do shred. And I was having so much fun flying around here, I ended up just running right through all my batteries in no time. Follow me, no designer quote and open your mind with the vocab and let it live in your lab. No need to pack your bags, your itineraries everywhere we at. Like every time we chat, leave the ticket your emotions. I don't cause tears, but help you to create oceans. Always writing first class, never need an upgrade. Let me stamp your passport, secure you extended days. In sun rays, you pick the place. I'll make the time a little faith. It's all it takes, put it in my hands. Can't wait for them to touch on my controls and let the destiny unfold. Folks, just secure yourself, but have no fear. Let me take you on a trip. We don't need landing gear. Just secure yourself, but have no fear. Let me take you on a trip. We don't need landing gear. Let's get the flow in. Let's get the flow in. Put your body in motion. Put your body in motion. Now because these motors were feeling so good to me, I decided to keep them on my main rig for the UK drone show. So that was last weekend, the 4th and 5th of uh, December, and I did pretty well, in fact I came 5th overall. Now I could have definitely pushed myself a little bit harder, in fact in this race I ended up crashing with uh, teammate Jab, and uh, we took each other out and that lost me 2nd position, so I ended up in 3rd, which put me out of the final. So there's the crash there, me and Jab, and as you'll see I'll be able to get back up and get going again. And I thought I was actually in second position, but I wasn't, I was in third. If I had known that, I would have pushed a bit harder and tried to take second again and get into the final, but fifth place wasn't bad overall. Now, I was smacking these motors off of the posts that you see there. These are aluminium trusses, and uh, I didn't break a single motor during the whole weekend of racing, and I managed to use the one quad all weekend. So, definitely a thumbs up for these motors. So what do I think of these motors? Well, I actually really, really, really like them. If I had the money, I would change all of my motors out to these. Uh, I think they're very smooth, they're very powerful, lots of punch low down, and uh, that really makes a difference when you need quick reactions if you get something wrong or if the track is a little bit twisty. And I would say that the pros definitely outweigh the cons. There are only two small cons to this motor. One being the green prop nut that you get with it. After a few untightens and tightenings, uh, when you break a few props, you will end up ruining that nut. So it's better off getting some sort of steel nuts to use rather than the aluminium one that is provided. And the only other thing with these motors is the higher price of £21.50 here in the UK. Now I do think the quality that you get with these does warrant that actual price tag so I'm pretty much happy to pay that anyway. Especially with all the problems I've been having with ZMX motors lately. So that is it for today's video guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to try and cut this short here because I want to keep these videos under 10 minutes. So thank you very much. If you have any questions then put them below and I will try and answer them in due course. And I will see you next time.